Recently, I've been researching 68% layout keyboards and realized that there are almost none on the open market. Everything was either expensive as hell or an interest check. That was until I stumbled upon the TM680. From this Reddit post, my interest in 68% keyboards turned into this. This is the Holy Tom TM680. Unbox this thing is pretty easy. It comes in a nice black paper box. There are no labels on either the box, nor the paper outing, nor the keyboard. I decided to go to the black version, but this keyboard also comes in pink and this white gray slate color. Besides the keyboard, you also receive another set of clip and stabilizers, a switch and keycap puller, a manual that explains how to use the knob and change the RGB on the keyboard, and lastly, a nice black braided USB-C cable. For a quick overview of the keyboard, it's similar to that of a Tofu 60 or like a GK61. This keyboard has 67 keys as well as a knob, which sounds a bit cheap but gets the job done. Disassembling the keyboard is similar to that of the GK61. It is held together with 8 solder screws connecting the plate and the PCB with the back plate. You can then pull the bottom plate from the main assembly. The back plate is hollow, I'll be adding some foam, and has 3 RGB diffusers. The PCB is connected to the front plate and switch plate by two black screws. The knob is a bit tricky to pull off, but with a little bit of twisting, it pops right off, revealing some plate foam, the aluminum plate, and the front plate. Now, let's put this back together and test out that RGB. Due to the north facing switches, I plan on turning off the main RGB and primarily use the side lighting. Because it's north face and my choice in keycaps, the main RGB just won't look good and won't shine through. Here's how it looks in the dark. This keyboard consists of only 8 lighting modes, 6 being static colors, and two being breathing effects at different speeds. This keyboard retails at 269 Chinese yen, or roughly 44 United States dollars. Of course, adding shipping fees and import taxes, this keyboard comes to a total of around 80 to 90 dollars. It has decent build quality for the price, and a special layout being 68%. Being hot swappable, it is easy to customize, and adding case foam, painting the aluminum plate, and changing the knob all cheap and elevate this keyboard. Unfortunately, the north facing RGB will instantly kill off diehard enthusiasts, and clip-in stabilizers don't help, and without proper tuning nor lube, 
They sound horrible. My keyboard also came with this weird factory plastic smell, which hasn't gone away after six days of use. Overall, this won't be replacing my current GMK Pro, but for an overall price of $200, I'm pretty impressed with it. Good morning, everyone. Would you be so kind as to like and subscribe?